Right. So I, I've seen a couple different forbearance situations early on in the pandemic. I saw that people were calling in before, you know, everybody knew what a forbearance was and the banks were saying, yeah, you know, we'll give you a six month forbearance. And some of those folks didn't have an end deal. So the bank said, you don't have to pay us for six months, but then guess what? In month seven, the bank's saying, okay, you now owe me six months of payments at a lump sum. We weren't, we weren't giving you these on the end of the loan or we weren't restructuring your loan. We were just giving you time to come up with the money. So that's one type of forbearance. Another type, as you suggested, Sam and Brent, is they will put those payments towards the end of the loan, which extends the loan, but you're paying, not only are you paying extra fees sometimes, but also the interest, right? So you're still paying and, and the majority of a mortgage payment is interest. So, you know, if your mortgage payment is $1,000 a month, it might be $800 a month in interest, depending upon where you are. So you're not only adding time to your mortgage, but you're adding uh, $4,800 or $5,000 of interest to that mortgage over time. So if you don't have a game plan going in as to how you're going to get out, you don't know what the bank's going to agree to. Yeah. And, and all of those options, you're at their mercy, really. They you don't really have any leverage, right? That's right. Yep. Yep. So chapter 13, as Sam said, can be a great option to protect the property, pay it based on a schedule that you can afford and also eliminate some of your other debt at the same time. Yeah. Yeah. You really need to talk to a local attorney. If you want to do this type of financial planning, you want to talk to an attorney that knows about credit, debt, bankruptcy, real estate, and how all of those things interplay. And when we say, at least here in my office, and I believe it's the same for the two of you, when we say that we offer a free consultation with no strings attached, we absolutely mean that. It's 100% free consultation. You come in, ask questions, know your rights, get to know what your options are, and then make a decision. You know, the only catch to a free consultation with my office is we might follow up with you again afterwards through some email or a phone call to check on you. But other than that, it's an absolutely no obligation consultation. We're not going to, you know, pull any money out of your pockets. We're just going to tell you what you want to know.